MNEX6 is what they call a bomb maze. From the titling of the word maze, uh, the reason why they do so is that you're given a lot of blocks right here. So you can use the blocks to divert the pathing of the enemies. And to me, the toughest part about this stage is not that you have to have strong operators to kill all of these enemies. That's not the point here. If you can figure out the best ways to place the block so that you can divert uh, the pathing into the most optimal manner, that is how you can clear the stage with super low requirement operators. And that's what I want to show you guys today in this video. So, uh, even though the rec sorry the recommended operator level is stays Elite 2, level 20, you don't need it to be that high, all right? Just one single E2 will do. So, this is a squad that I'm going to be taking. Another showcase of Chen Outer, but I think the even bigger amazing thing here is that I'm using very few operators. I even use fewer operators here than in the previous stage, even though this is like one level up. So, uh, Chen Outer, skill 3, M3, that is what I recommend you guys to have. If you don't have that, please borrow from a friend. Don't go lower than Mastery 3. You want that full blast damage that Chen offers in the stage. Because she's the only one dealing damage over here. And then for the other uh, operators that you see here, there are three defenders. It would be best if all of them are healing defenders. If not, um, they can be defenders that can, I, I suppose, like raise up their defense or uh, have a very high HP. Myrtle is just there to be a DP generator. You can replace her with some other vanguards that you have. Uh, if you want to bring more operators to help you on the stage, feel free to do so. I gave you 8 free slots. You think you want to bring some snipers, you want to bring some casters, some medics into the stage? By all means, I'm only showing you the lowest requirement squad that you need in order to clear the stage. Alright, let me show you guys how I do it. MNEX6 now to begin the stage, I'll place in Myrtle right over here and I'll place the blocks already. Right, Myrtle, get your skill up and then I'll place another block right here. Following up, I'm going to put a block over here. And I'll place one more over here. And then, as soon as I have enough DP, it depends on my choice. Uh, some of you might struggle with DP because my Chen has pot right here. So instead, I'm going to put a uh, spot right in. I'm also going to put my other defenders. So I'm going to place a uh, cardigan right here. So we increase the block count a little bit more. So as soon as I have enough deployment points, I'm going to put Chen right here. And then I'm going to put the last defender over here. All right. So it's all set up already. That's the full squad. And if you notice the way that I place the blocks, as mentioned, all the enemies on the right go to the bottom blue box. All the enemies on the left goes to the upper blue box. So you don't have to be too worried. The enemies can face through the blue box if you didn't know that. So that is the main idea as to how we can put that to use. So they'll all get into Chen's range and then we'll use the sweet Chen skill to get rid of all of these uh, enemies right here. I'm going to use spot skill and then I'm going to activate Chen as well. So we wait until this X-Boy gets into Chen's range and then I'll stop Chen's skill. Alright. Ooh, Cardigan's health is a little low. Okay, there you go. So I stop Chen's skill right there. We don't have to use any of the bombs, it's going to be okay. Alright, so manage your operator's health over here. As soon as Chen's skill is ready again, feel free, go and use it. Although right now it's not ready. And I'm going to use spot skill because Cardigan is in trouble. Alright. So there's another defender guy that's right here. I'm going to wait until he's killed by Chen, and then I'm going to stop Chen's skill. Alright, as soon as he's killed, stop Chen's skill, that's a good timing. Now I want to show you how you can make the blocks, to uh, put the blocks to your advantage, alright? So what we're going to do here, is you notice as this sniper guy, we're going to divert this person, because this person hurts all the defenders the most out of all the enemies on the map. So to do this, I am going to remove this block over here and I'm going to change their pathing. So, remove the block and I'm going to place a block here. 
So it's going to annoy the enemies a little bit. Okay, so this delays some time onto this particular enemy right there. Then whensoever that I see that it's okay, I'm going to get the block out. I'm going to place another block back here again. Right, so this helps with the diversion of attention. Cardigan's about to die. I think it's good timing that Cardigan's skill is there. It's okay if she dies at that point. All right, there's still enough block count and everything going on. So I'm going to activate all the skills that I could be using here. And you'll see, Chen's skill, right on the time when everybody has collapsed together. Bam! Put that to use. And that is how I eliminate every single person off the map. Just how much more is Chen going to impress us, right? So that's that for MNEX6. I hope this is a pretty nice strategy for you guys to try out in your account. Alright, next one, EX7. I'll see you there. Bye all!